Hey guys, how's it going? I'm going to show you a little trick and tutorial here uh, dealing with empty bear tables and containers. Now, I don't know, normally there's a lot of different ways you can deal with it. I know a lot of people just spawn things out of thin air. I'm not a believer of spawning things out of thin air unless you're staging something. In other words, it's coming into the root. So when a place like uh, Jacksonville, Florida here, the ramp, actually gets a lot of loads coming in, it doesn't have as many loads coming out. Now, in this case, though, it, hasn't, it doesn't have to do with this. We're actually, I'm showing you something a little different where we actually have available bear tables. Not as many are going out, but we actually have a supply of bear tables that had been emptied over in uh, Taft, over uh, in by Orlando. So I got some bear tables I've been filling up uh, that was available from Taft. We sent uh, whatever excess we already had out. So looking at my sheets here, and I'll, I'll try to time this to fill up the whole 15 minutes so you know what's going on. Uh, once again, this is something that I, you're, you're down to row 1300. This is something where it says paste report here. Well, we're, at, we're actually into the totals right now. And what I'm in the process of doing is tagging the Q174 to Savannah from the Jacksonville ramp. Uh, we just started uh, operations at Taft. Uh, which is why a lot of it was empty and we didn't have it in time. But uh, in this case here, we have 33 of 46, which means we need 13 more um, actual uh, trailers to go on our trailer flat cars. So with 13 more, if you click on this, you see we got 15. What we're going to do is we're going to load 13. We're not going to load all 15. We're going to load 13 and leave the other two as is. So... How do we do it? This is what we do. First of all, we go down here, check more or less whereabouts it is. We're on the server right now, the Florida server, so I'm going to delete that. So we're going to get 15. I'm not worried about if the one's weathered or not. I think, I forget which one's weathered. I can't remember if it's eight or nine, but anyways, there's a, there's a, a particular model. So what we're doing now is we're going to drop from the network and da, 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 da. so we're dropping from the network and we have to drop from the network in order to to uh, be able to use um, train maker upper so let's bail out that all disappears that's good and now we want to go into oh this is what I did earlier so I'm going to remove that one uh, blah, blah, blah. remove all units I'm going to start from scratch so that you see what I'm doing here. So, going into my sheets, like I said, you got 33 here. Um, to, so you take 46 minus 33 means we need 13 to 15. All right. So, let me refresh this. What you're seeing here, and I'll get into the sheets just to make sure if we have some time how these are calculated. But what it is is a list of all the trailers, container flats, and the worksheets. I'll probably put this sheet up on my wiki uh, if you want to use it for your own purposes. I'll make it available to everybody. Um, but what, it's, what it does is it randomly selects the trailers for us. So control F1, bring that up again. The window button, bring up the, the spreadsheet. So here we have, we're looking for 13 of them. So all we want to do is we're going five, what is it, five, three, this is a random, this is totally random, six, five, uh, one, three, three, one, one, three, three, one, uh, I think it's four, four and seven, I forget the numbers, shoot, I hate it when that happens. How many do we got? And 33, 43, 43, shoot. 13 of 15, I think we said. All right, that's pretty bad one. I can't even remember. My memory's been shot. 
Uh, yeah. Let me make sure I got this in here right. It's pretty bad, but I can't remember how many. Okay, so we got we, we still got to go here. So three 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 one four three three one four uh, seven six. 33147 is already there. 6. Uh, da, 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 6, I guess. 33147666. And one more will give us 1. And then we want the empties. I don't know what it's 8 or 9 is the dirty one. I like the dirty ones because that's what everything's underneath. I'll try 9. It doesn't matter. Um, anyway, that's not important, anyway. So I'm going to minimize that. So, we want to make sure, okay, we're already on, pretty much in line. It doesn't have to be exactly where it was, but as long as it's close enough. Remember, we're off the network now. So now, we go ahead, and uh, we're looking for place, place selected uh, units. Oh, wait, wait, remove selected. Where the hell is it? Oh, it's that big button up there. Place train on track. Ta-da. All right. All right, good enough. Close enough. So, there you have it. There's your trailers, and you're going to have two empties at the end. Were they the dirty ones? Did I do it right? Yeah, they look like dirty. I think yeah, they look pretty clean. Oh, well, who cares? Doesn't matter. Clean and dirty. They had a wash. Or maybe a rain shower went through or something. Who knows? Um, okay, so now we click on this. F1. We're going to spawn this as, or save this, I should say, as temp. I already did a temp earlier, so you know I've been doing this. So you type in temp into the save train file, and then you click, uh, or, or, or the save train field, click save. Okay, now you can go in here, delete that. It's gone. Remember, you're on your own right now. You're not on the server. So you go into client. You want to join the session again. Everything's already there as long as it's there from before. You haven't done anything differently. Now things will start loading up once you, once you start seeing uh, stuff start populating. And yeah, we're doing good for time. And I'll look in. Du, 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 come on. Don't have all day people. I want to get 15 minutes. There they are. Okay. So that tracks there. Client. We want to go, sorry, we want to go to the spawn tab. Now we're looking for temp. Notice temp is at the bottom. It's not alphabetical. Whenever you save something and it's new, it uh, throws it in at the bottom. So if you're ever wondering why it's not alphabetically in there, look for the very bottom. So you're in the train. You got the train tab. You want temp. Spawn the train into the world. And it put me over there for some reason. Oh, yeah, because I was looking up. Okay, so here we go. So the last ones that I wanted to tag, we had all those all, all those ones there. That that sheet I no longer need. Um, uh, I'll keep it there just in case I, I need to show you. Uh, yeah. So the thing about it, I, I like about these sheets too is when you have all the, the information on sheets, just copy the field. So Q174 is what we're using. All we're doing is we're tagging the loads. So all we do is click on the first one, take it over from none. Control V because we already copied it from the sheet, and then you do random. We do random for every one. And uh, the cool thing about this is, is now you have taken. You can do the same thing opposite too. If you're uh, if you're running out of um, if you're emptying, uh, say certain ramp tracks, and you want to actually go from what was containers which is what will happen a lot in Florida because they receive in California the same thing happens they receive a lot more than they ship out a lot of times so if you want to do that you can do the same thing by eliminating some of the trailers what I normally do is if I have loaded trailers in there and I need loaded trailers going out I don't bother going through this uh, routine I only do this to simulate what's going on as far as bear table to make sure that we have enough uh, bare table supplies and to make sure that the ramps get cleared out. Otherwise, I wouldn't go through all this nonsense. And it's an extra step. It's up to you whether or not you want to do this. This is not. Uh, this is what I do behind the scenes, and I wanted to show you as far as uh, 
what you do as far as little tricks because a lot of people realize that they can't use the, uh, the train maker up utility when you're on a server. So all you do is you just disconnect from it for a few minutes and voila, you're back on. So anyways, there's our last uh, containers all set to go. Q174 has been tagged. And all I gotta do is put in that I've tagged the 46. I won't show you, bother going through uh, the actual procedures on the website because what would what would end up happening well I might as well I can show you real thing real quick here submit another response so I put my name this is on the server this is how quick it is 174 uh, I'll put a build order because it has to be built the train has to be built from the ramps and we go to a line go to continue and da, 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 yeah, where is it? Jacksonville Devel ramp in the yard. So that now has a build order. So anybody who comes on the server can build that train. Uh, I think it's going to be here. There, Q174. Hey, I did say Q174, did I not? You bugger. I did. I saw you. Yeah, leave that page. What's going on? Why is that showing up? Oh, I haven't added it. Never mind. That's uh, okay. Whatever. It's not showing up for some reason. Um, let's see. I got a little bit more time. How much time do I got left? Oh, okay. So I got a few more minutes. I don't want to bore you with anything. Um, that's supposed to show up for some reason. Q174 is not showing up. It could be a problem with the sheets. I don't know what's going on there. Train. I will, I'll look at that later. I'm not. That's. So now I've identified that I've tagged everything so that uh, all the others, um, that's what I wanted to show you. This is the sheet that I use to randomly select uh, different cars. So you got your tra 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 yeah, yeah, TOFC column, it lists all of them from one to seven. Container flat, I'm only using the domestic ones. And you look at the worksheet that tells you the number that's in that, those fields. And I'll leave a copy of this on the wiki somewhere. So that's just headers, total uniques counted. So seven, see, see uh, count unique. So it counts unique from those fields. And what, it, and the reason why it does that is you want to select from that. You see right there, A3. It takes the random value of A3 and looks for the uh, trailer flat. And all it does is it picks it picks the random number. See, it keeps on looking at A3 when we go through. The formula is actually the same for every one. So it's just going to spit out a whole bunch of them. Doesn't matter how many you need or whatever. So, I mean, that's that's fine and dandy. That's that's all there is to it. So I'll close that for now. I'll keep a copy up for, uh, I'll put that on the wiki so that you guys understand. Uh, if you have any questions, put it on the wiki, and I'll try to maybe explain some of the things in text. Hopefully, that, there, th th see, now it's up. See, it says build now. I don't know. It got delayed for some reason, so. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, got about a minute here left. I only got 15 minutes on YouTube, so, um, so I mean, that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. Yeah, like I said, you can use the whole thing. You don't have to use this. This is really specific as far as the car types go. Um, trailers. The thing is, the actual trailers that come on the cars have to have their own shapes. So you actually have to go in the train maker upper. Whereas in RTS, uh, if a boxcar is getting loaded, a boxcar is getting loaded. Or, for a, or the new gondolas, for example. Uh, the gondolas, certain cars have certain types. So I would specifically call those certain cars so that you get the certain loads. In this case, I can't uh, simply hit the load button on any of these because what happens is they're not like the coal that would show up in, or sorry the uh, railroad ties that would show up in a gondola or the coal that would show up in a coal car uh, by just simply hitting load these are actually part of the cars these are actually new unique cars that you're putting in so that's a little trick uh, if you have any questions let me know I'll put this on the wiki and uh, make sure it's out there and, and need any more explanations, let me know. And we'll talk to you next time. Take care.